T minus 30. Stage one's pressing for flight. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift off the Falcon 9. Prop AVI RC and GMC can see the computer is 3.170 for post launch flight operations. GC, move to post launch pad operations to secure the pad on pad normal. net A. Copy, we'll go. Telemetry nominal. T plus 53 seconds into flight. We've just heard the call outs that engines are nominal. We've also got good status on the avionics system. We're coming up on maximum dynamic pressure. plus one minute 30 seconds into flight okay. Maryland engines continue to perform anomaly we've heard a call out of MVAC D engine chill has begun that indicates that propellants now are being fed to the front of the turbo pump on the upper stage engine to chill it as we get ready to light the upper stage engine in just about 45 seconds we're coming up on several major activities all at once. At about T plus 2 minutes and 24 seconds, we should have cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, ignition of the upper stage engine, and right afterwards, reignition of three first stage engines for boost back burn. Let's listen and watch together. Coming up on T plus three minutes, stage, stage separation reignition successful. The first stage boost back burn is underway. We're coming up on fairing separation now around the 10 iridium satellites. Fairing separation confirmed. Three minutes and 23 seconds into flight, you can hear the applause at SpaceX. Smaller crowd, many of our folks drove up actually to watch the launch from Vandenberg, just about 180 miles up the road from us. First stage, grid fins are deploying. You can see the new dark gray titanium grid fins. They deploy a little more slowly than the old lighter weight aluminum fins. Pressure is good, trajectory looks good for the second stage. Four minutes into fight, you can see the grid fins are fully deployed. We're listening for when the drone ship has what they call AOS, acquisition of signal. That'll indicate the telemetry from the first stage is being received by the drone ship. The drone ship does not send commands to the first stage in flight. Four and a half minutes into flight, the upper stage engine continues to perform nominally. Stage one and stage two power and telemetry remain nominal. T 
plus five minutes into the flight. Second stage continues to perform well, carrying 10 Iridium satellites to a parking orbit. The next major event is entry burn. We will light three Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. That will slow us down for entry through the atmosphere. That's a fairly long burn. Should be coming up in about 30 seconds. Six minutes into flight, you can see the entry burn is underway on the Falcon 9 first stage. Bringing it back to the drone ship, titled, Just Read the Instructions, Awaiting It in the Pacific Ocean. Stage 1, APSS. Entry burn is complete. The next burn will be the landing burn. So right now we're coming up on seven minutes. It's actually six minutes and 40 seconds into flight. Stage one is headed back to the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean. Second stage continues to head south towards Antarctica as we head for a parking orbit, which is expected shortly after T plus AOS on nine the AOS on the drone ship means acquisition of signal. The drone ship now receiving telemetry from the Falcon 9 first stage. As a reminder, weather conditions are borderline out at the drone ship. We'll hopefully see a landing coming up here shortly. Landing burn is underway. can tell by the cheering Stage in the background, two. first stage, Falcon, Falcon 9 landed. Flight 38 has landed on Just Read the Instructions, our drone ship in the Pacific Ocean landing at about T plus 7 minutes and 47 seconds, right on time. Meanwhile, the second stage engine at 8 minutes and 13 seconds into flight continues to perform well. We've got less than one minute before we go into our low earth parking orbit. H2 ATS has saved. We have Seco. Confirmation of second stage engine shutdown.